and it echoes this for us. So I'm going to do QL here. It said we are in winter because it matched this line. This trigger did. And then it said we are in whatever. First word. First word went here. So why don't we copy that to Nexus? I mean my left. Uh, a closet. Let's copy this. Create a new trigger. Select pill rejects. Now we go back to our cheat sheet. Where is our cheat sheet? Right here. So Nexus W got translated into this. Copy that. Voila. And of course we want to add the dollar sign and carrot. Now this is actually one of the annoying bugs in Nexus. If you put in it like this, which is perfectly valid, it won't work because it's a Nexus bug. In Mallet it's not a bug. You can put in you can do it like this and it'll still work properly. So we save that. Now what we do is echo we are in one. One being the first wildcard. In Nexus, I mean in Mallet it's a bit different. We do echo we are close our code put in two dots to put in a variable and the variable we'll be using is matches. Matches is a table that has all your wildcards and it starts counting from two for your purposes. So matches two will mean that this word goes into here. Let's try it out. Save, activate, QL, A, it worked. A closet, we are in a closet. In closet. Okay, bad English, but whatever. Now the thing is that you see in Nexus it did it above the line. So even though the trigger matched here, it echoed it above it. I consider it to be annoying, but so was Mudlet's behavior where it put it on the same line. In Mudlet, if you don't want to have it on the same line, we can put a slash n character before it. Slash n means new line. Save as QL and hey look, a closet we are in the closet. So it's working out quite nicely so far. Now the next thing that you do in Nexus is probably you want to highlight some stuff. Nexus has a highlight command which highlights the part of a line that matched your trigger. In our case this line you see. You see exits before it was blue now it's green because of our trigger. Why don't we copy that into model 2. You see a single exit. Copy this. Create a new trigger. Nexus trigger. Pattern type. Pull rejects. Like this. You see single exit. Now, here's where things get much easier in Mudlet. In Nexus you have to put in a command if you want to highlight it. In Mudlet, you just click on those little color as a trigger button. Oh, and by the way, it will be called the highlighter trigger after because as a proper English. So we enable this. Foreground color, we want green. Where's green? Look at how many colors we have to choose from. No, it doesn't look green to me. There you go, that's green. Background color, we want it to be black still. So we select black. Save it. Activate it and let's try it out. Well, look at it. It worked. Quite amazing, don't you think? Now, what if you want to highlight the whole line without having your trigger to actually match the whole line? Nexus can do it for you. What we'll do is it will disable this easy thing and it will actually use a script for it, not be lazy. So, before you can hi to highlight something, you can use a BG green command. BG means background color. We can also use FG which is a foreground color command. But before we highlight anything we need to select it first because model doesn't know what you actually want to highlight. We can use the select string command for that. The way it works is you put in a bracket then you select what do you want to highlight. In our case let's try hiding a whole line so we'll put in line. Line is a special variable that contains the whole line. 
and we'll put in the one for us. Ignore for now. So, save item. We do QL. Whoa, look at it. The whole angle highlighted. Also in the background color. I screwed up. It's supposed to be a foreground color. FG. There you go. Wonderful. The whole line is now green. Now, what if we replace this special line with a variable of a word? For example, if we want to select south. Select string south. We only select that one word. Did I save it? Save item. Let's try using blue just to be sure. No, there we go. The normal color is yellow, that's why I got confused, but there you go. Stuff is blue now. Just like we expected. So, the next thing that we'll do is an if statement. This is an example of a Nexus if statement. There are also a lot more examples here. This is from the Nexus manual. Right now we'll do a simple one. So what this one does is it gets this word that we have right here, it matches the wildcard to a word, and then it echoes if it matched. Sure. Why don't we give it a try? So, for example, let's try and match this line. And let's try and match water instead of floor. So we'll click Add Item, New Trigger, Select Rejects, put on the card at the beginning, and replace water with slash w plus just like our cheat sheet dictates this here is the next like this this is a mudlet we put in this now we do an if statement in nexus how we do is if condition then you put in the opening curly brace when you put in what happens if your condition matches and you close it like this. The model is easier. You put in if condition or condition is matches to equals. Now you notice that I put in to equals sign. This is not a typo. If you want to compare something in a model, you use two of them. If you want to set something, you use one. So we put two equals water and you type then sorry curly brace is replaced by the word then and you do echo the first wild card is water and when you do end this is how you end an in statement of the end word you can't get confused here I hope so activate it so just let's try it out here and I'll try to match. There we go. The first wild card is floor, is because it matched this line. And it did if one equals floor, then do this. In Nexus, we do if matches two equals water, then we do this, and kill it by sand here. Let's give it a try. Ta da! Wow! It worked. The first one called is water. It set it right here. Of course, you want to be a new line. We'll put in slash n here. Oops, it has to be inside of the quote. Activated QL. Now, why is our echo green and blue? Well, it's because one of our triggers before did highlighting and forgot to reset the highlighter. So put in reset format command here. It'll reset the formatting so other triggers don't get corrupted. There we go. Now 